Multileaders Multileaders are an interesting way to add annotations to our drawings. They consist in an arrow that connects to a text or a block with an attribute. Let's have a look a bit more in detail. We can add a multileader from the annotation panel at the home tab. Or, if we switch to the annotation tab, there is a full panel dedicated exclusively to leaders. The first thing I should do is check out the settings by clicking in this arrow here. So it opens a window very identical to the Dimension Style Manager. Let's select the style, the standard one, and modify it. Here I'm going to start with the text height. And because it's too small, I'm going to change it to 250. As my text labels are 350, this will be just a bit smaller. Then on leader format, I want also to change the style of the arrowhead, for example 200. On leader structure, I have by default two leader points. Then uncheck the box for landing distance, if I don't want it to be a fixed value. I click on OK to confirm the changes and close the window. So now I can add a leader. It's easy, just click on the multi-leader icon choose a base point, then specify the leader landing location and click one time more to type the text. For example, external wall, as it's what the leader indicates. Then change here the layer style to annotative. Nice, this time I'm going to repeat the process, but instead I'm going to add an annotative multi-leader to appear in this viewport in the scale 1 per 100. Change here the layer style to annotative and then on the multi-leader style manager click on modify. So I will not change the settings because I think they are quite acceptable. I close the window. Don't forget to make sure the scale is correct 1 per 100 and draw the multi-leader. For example, window. Now if I double click on the arrow, I can see the quick properties of the multi-leader. For example, let's change the landing distance to 10. And you can see the distance updating automatically. So if I switch to the layout tab, I can see how the annotative multi-line looks like. Multi-leaders have two types of content. Multiline text or a block with an attribute, which it's this example here. Now I'm going to show you how to make this. Go again to the multi-leader style manager and here I'm going to create a new style. I select this time annotative and click on new. So my new style will have the same settings as the annotative style. Choose a name for it. And when I'm ready, I click on continue. On this window, we go to content and change the multi-leader style to block. In this list, as you can see, there are already several blocks for multi-leader that come with AutoCAD. Apart from this, I can also use a block made by me, but this time let's use this circle. Then I can change the scale, but I'm going to keep it 1. Have in mind that in this kind of multi-leaders, using a block, we don't specify the height of the text. Then I create a multi-leader somewhere here. And as the text inside the block is an attribute, I'm asked to insert a value. Let's put one for it. And click on OK to confirm this choice. OK, I don't like to match this position. So let's use the grips to put it a bit here inside. Now it's good. And you can see that it has an acceptable size on the layout. Let's add another multi-leader. And this time I put 5 for the value. You can see how simple it is. One disadvantage in multi-leaders, unlike dimension lines, 
If I change the multi-leader style settings, the existing objects do not update automatically. So if I decide I want to change the block, I have to draw them again. As you see, I inserted the arrow with the new block. On the next example, I'm going to add a multi-leader using a standard style. Non-annotative. So, if I use the scale 1, it will be too small for the drawings that I have here. I need to increase it. Let's try with 20. Then I close this window. I'm going to draw the leader. Ah, and you can see that the block I have here is a bit different. This one has two attributes. I just put random values. And now the size fits quite well for this drawing. Have in mind that using the blocks by default in multi-leaders can be hard to measure exactly. Actually, what happens is, the measurements themselves are defined at the block editor. When I specify the multi-leader settings, I can just set the scale. Each multi-leader can have more than one arrow. If I click on Add Leader, then I select the multi-leader, I can add an extra leader. So this is as simple as it looks, and it's possible to add how many leaders as I want. I could place another from this point, or press Escape to cancel the command. To remove a leader, just click on the icon located below, select first the object, and then click to remove the arrow. So it was everything for today. But this time, before leaving, I want to mention that I just started a page of Patreon for Kelly Black. There, you can support this channel to help me keep creating more content here. I would really appreciate that. Even of course, I'm already grateful that you find these videos available and that they are helping you to speed up your knowledge. Without your support, nothing of this would be possible. So, thank you very much for watching. See you next time.